two, three, four. <laughs> Welcome to www.guitarforone.com's Music Miscellany. Passing the PC, it was all set up and I thought let's do a quick one to warm you up for a very nice weekend's worth of practice with, hey, what's his name? You know. Anyway, we won't mention it just in case. So, why do this tune? Three reasons. One, it is a beautiful, brilliant tune. Two, the chords. You'll hear it referred to as cycling in fifths. So as part of our theory in chord college, what does that mean? Well, it means every second chord is the fifth of the one that's gone before it. Now I've just made it very complicated instead of simplifying it. So the first chord is a C. The fifth of C, C, D, E, F, is G. So the next chord is a G. Then G becomes the one chord and the fifth of G is D, G, A, B. D. The D becomes the one, the fifth of D is A, then the A becomes the one, and the fifth of A is E, and you're back to E. So the chords so C, G, D, A, and back to E. So a real work of genius. The third reason is the cool bass pattern. For lots, for two main reasons, my favourite reasons, and my when I'm emphasising to students what they should practice, one is a finger per fret, and the second is alternate picking, down, up, down, up, down, up. If you haven't seen those, search it on the website, and uh, the videos are there for it, but finger per fret literally is one finger per fret, starting with your first finger, second finger, third finger, and fourth finger. So in this case, let's go through the bass pattern. So it starts in a C, so we're in the 5th string, 3rd fret, then we go to the open 6th string, 1st fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, which takes us to our G, 1st note of our G chord. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, then we hit the G, 1, 5th string, second fret with the B note where we're on the second now we're going to do a finger per fret on this string so so far you've done C then go down to the sixth string second fret so your first finger is already there this is the joy of a finger per fret Go up a finger per fret. So everything so far. Fifth string, third fret, your C. Open sixth. First, second, third on the sixth. Second on the fifth string. Third, fourth, fifth, your finger per fret. Down to the second on the sixth. Who said guitar was difficult? Then you take your first finger up to fifth string fourth fret and you do a finger per fret up to the E on the seventh fret and that and you can play the top E and that E together and you've got the chord or a power chord so all of that together very slowly let's do it with the metronome one three four one two three four cool is that great progression so practice that and I forgot to mention my second favorite thing is alternate picking so do down up down up down up down up alternate improve your picking accuracy and speed and uh, keep a loose right wrist
So that is your opening exercise. Part two, you're an acoustic guitarist, you're playing on your own and you still want to put the riff in. Right, so let's do it with the chords. So you start with your C. You play C, which is your one. one. Then keep the C ringing out. Hit your open E. One. Leave, I tend to leave, I tend to leave my two fingers, my second and third finger, where they are for as long as possible so they continue to ring out. So I, can, I take my first finger off, open, one, two, three, and I make a G shape. So we've got one, two, three, four, one. There's your G. On the one you play G. One, two, three, four. Play a D. Now, in D, Hendrix, Hendrix is famous for thumb over the top. So, in this case, I play my D with my thumb over the top, hitting the F sharp, 6th string, 2nd fret. If you can't do that, don't worry, just play it. One, and that's your one. One, two, three, four. So, uh, one, two, three. Is your D down here? So one, play your D, and I tend to put my thumb for the two, three, four. So one, two, two is my thumb on the six, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Then you're into the A. One. So your fifth string is the one, but you're playing the whole chord. One. So it's one. This is where it gets slightly complicated. One, two, your two is the C sharp, so finger per fret rule again. Third finger, four, fifth string, fourth fret. So you've got the A, your, the A is ringing out, that's your one. One, two, open D, open fourth string. Fourth string, first fret. And then you make your E chord. And you strike it. Predominantly striking fourth the E note, which is your fourth string second fret first. So that's the one you want to ring out. So play from there down. So you'll get all of that. One, one, two, three, four, G. One, two, three, four, one, thumb. So let's do that speed again. One, all together, after four. One, two, three, four. So you have one, two, three, four. 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 So there you go. What you do then is you practice that until you build it, you can build it up to speed. Remembering Jimi Hendrix's version, he never played it the same way twice. Nobody plays it the same way twice live. And just practice it. Practice it, practice it, practice it, and have fun. And remember, the important thing when you're doing it is a finger per fret, keep everything nice and loose, and practice it slowly and build up to it. Try and leave the chords ring out if you're doing it on your own. That's the secret of that. And the finger per fret, of course. This is what happens when you do a finger per fret and you change the rhythm.
Okay, sorry, got carried away there. But the point is a finger per fret, alternate picking, and have fun. We'll see you the next time on www.guitarforone.com's music miscellany. And don't forget, please click like and subscribe so you never miss another episode. And it really helps us on this channel to make more great videos for everyone's enjoyment. In the meantime, stay safe, practice, 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 and have fun.